Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career reading. It will be for February to March 2021 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull some cards for you and see what we get. So let's pull an Oracle card. Message for Taurus, please. Message for Taurus. In money and career, please. February to March 2021. Thank you, Angels, Spirits, Guides. What do we have for Taurus in money and career? February to March 2021. Oh, that card is out. Interesting, we have the serpent. A sly and subtle approach is needed. Interesting. The serpent, I mean, the snake is also about shedding an old skin, transformation. So it feels for some of you, maybe keeping your clothes close to your chest or, you know, um, feels a degree of, of secrecy maybe for some of you. But it's bringing some kind of transformation here. Okay. So the message that I have from the angels is declutter. You'll feel better and more focused if you'll take the time to clear away any clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. <laughs> I mean, sometimes this can be about simplifying, focusing on one specific thing as well. Um, if things just seem very complex, you know, it is about just that focus, that priority that's needed. Okay. So, Taurus, let's pull your overarching energy for the month. What do we have in money and career for Taurus, please? February to March 2021. Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you message for Taurus. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. We have the star. It's the card of Aquarius. Um, absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is blessings, divine blessings, divine wish fulfillment. Uh, you are absolutely on the right path. I mean, there may well be a kind of, I mean, you'll understand what this slight and subtle approach means for you. But it definitely feels in this energy you are absolutely on the right path. You are going in the right direction. The path that you want is a blessed one. You're being assisted by divine energy. And as this person walks on water, you're being told to believe in miracles too and blessings. So very nice energy there. Reasons to be hopeful, optimistic, a sense of renewal. Very, very beautiful energy there. So I'm going to pull... Five cards, Taurus. We'll clarify where we need to. Okay. So the first card is the current issue or challenge. Second card is what's going for you. Third card is essentially any obstacles or what's against you. Advice from spirit is the fourth card. And then the fifth card is the outcome in February to March in money and career. Okay, there you are. And that's in the challenge position. King of coins, which is Taurus, male or female energy. What's going for you? We've got the three of swords here. Against you, we have the queen of swords. The page of coins is advice from spirit and the final card Taurus is the ten of swords. Yeah and, and bottom of the deck I have there is the Empress which is Venus in Taurus. Again a sense of self-renewal. So it feels really interesting this reading for you this month. Because for some of you, you're feeling out of sorts. I mean, you know, 
challenges in money career finances in particular i mean the king of coins is all about stability security manifesting money manifesting success understanding his full abilities practical abilities to deliver success and in terms of material success so when it's in the challenge position you're challenged on those fronts i mean this can sometimes symbolize changes in financial loss you know that kind of energy as well um but also reminding you that you have the ability to deal with something. You know, you have the practical ability, the skills, the experience to deal with something now. And it feels very beautiful. Now, the message is what's going for you. I've got the Three of Swords, which is a card of emotional pain. Can be some truth coming to light that cuts you deeply here, Taurus. It feels in this energy, I mean, this can be about third party situations, betrayal. Um, yeah, but for some of you, there's definitely an energy that you needed to see some kind of truth. It feels whatever this truth is, whatever this pain is, it's a test. And it's uh, sometimes we don't realize why we have to go through the test and it is a test. It's a Saturnian energy. We don't really understand why we have to go through these tests, but the tests, the challenges, the negativities can equip us for moving forward, you know, um, how we move out forward, how we grow, how we evolve as people, uh, make us more dynamic, creative, uh, assertive, equipped, more equipped for success going forward. So it feels for some of you that there has been some kind of emotional pain a test that you've been through and it feels like a relationship but i'm feeling that if you know it is money and career it could be a workplace relationship here because what's against you is a it feels like a person we have the the libra energy of the queen of swords so what's against you it feels for some of you this could be a person someone causing you some emotional pain I mean, she can be somebody who is doesn't feel any, I'm not saying doesn't feel emotions, but doesn't let emotions to dominate. So, you know, the mind is king with the queen of swords. <laughs> you know, the words are king, the communication is king. It feels in this energy there could have been some communication or interaction with this person that has caused you emotional pain and challenged you in terms of finances, money, career. And it feels like that's what you've been through here, Taurus. The advice from spirit is don't worry because the page of coins is can be good news to do with a career or financial opportunity coming your way. This is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So this is the hope that the star card is talking about. Um, definitely, and you can see the butterfly there, you know, next to that deer. Or, yeah, it definitely feels for some of you that there is some kind of career or financial opportunity coming, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, news, messages, information. Now, it can also be to do with you developing a new skill set. Um, yeah, you manifesting something new as well. So maybe starting your own business as well. But it can also be to do with learning a new skill set or getting qualifications or this is what I'm saying in terms of enhancing your abilities, knowledge, experience to be more attractive in the job market. So the, some of you might be doing that as well, but it's very good in terms of news to do with career financial opportunity. So, but there's something to do with a sly and subtle approach is needed because it feels for some of you, you don't warm to this person and this person doesn't seem to warm to you and they don't seem to have your best interests at heart because you are challenged by this person but what you don't realize is whatever the reason and we go through tests for reasons um it's a learning curve it's part of your evolution to embrace this kind of new opportunity coming your way and it will equip you going forward in dealing with people like this going forward
So the Ten of Swords, I mean, I like this as an outcome energy, especially with the Star card, because for some of you, the Ten of Swords can be, it is, you've been through a tough time, you have been through some pain, you have been through some Dark Night of the Soul. I mean, this can be the Dark Night of the Soul energy, but you're coming through the other side because you can see the sun is beginning to break through the clouds there, a new day, a new dawn is rising. For me, this can also signify... Um, Communication, positive communication coming your way, the sun in Gemini. So it, it definitely feels, you know, it, it feels between these two energies, some news, message, positive communication, conversation happening here, because the 10 is a completion, the pain is over, and there is new hope. You are finding the right path for you, the right direction, the right purpose, heading towards blessings. There is absolute hope, wish fulfillment with the star card. It's a lovely, lovely energy. And we end with Venus in Taurus, the Empress, which is absolutely apt for you. This is you back in your element. So definite energy of new growth, new abundance, um, new paths, new beginnings. She is the promise of something wonderful, the promise. Everything is ready to create a new reality for yourself. And I feel it's very much connected with what this page is bringing into you. These abundant energies are kind of like feeling very, very beautiful here. She is the birth of something new, very good in terms of money, career, business, jobs, you know, investments, that kind of energy that will bring growth should you take action towards it? Should you do what you do best, harness your practical skills, anchor and go for the promise that's all around you now um, of something bountiful, of beginning to thrive again and grow. So it feels very, very beautiful. Some of you might be behind the scenes going for... Um, new jobs you might be keeping something to yourself and I'm definitely feeling like that because it doesn't feel like you get on with some kind of boss or colleague but the the beautiful thing is February to March if you're looking at new avenues opportunities skills development to really go for what you want again this feeling of new abundance incoming abundance blossoming abundance with this Empress card something is going to end the period of pain is going to be over and it definitely feels this new abundant energy is coming your way. The message is, and I'm definitely feeling keep your cards close to your chest. And I did feel at the beginning with the serpent as well, the transformational energy of shedding an old skin. And I'm definitely seeing that with the Ten of Swords energy here. So lovely energy, Taurus. So I'm going to pull you a final card. Let me just grab the cards. Sorry, I didn't put them on the table. So let's pull your final card. Final card for Taurus, please. Final card for Taurus. And it's declutter because I definitely feel some toxic energy. Someone who you have it doesn't feel there's a bond there. There's no emotional involvement there, you know. There's no emotional bond with this person. It feels for some of you that you're going in a new direction and the star says this path that you're on is blessed you will find the blessed path this month or in the next month or two rest of february to march okay final message for taurus please thank you angel spirits guides thank you yeah you see <laughs> Ladybird, look, all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. Isn't that beautiful? Some luck is on your side. And we have, yeah, honeybee, divine feminine, you are being called on to rise. And that's what the Empress wants you to do. She wants to understand the conditions are right, the time is right for you to create this new reality. The potential of something new is coming your way. You need to take action towards it. And that's what this page of pentacles is bringing in. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful... Uh, February to March for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.